know that it's Pamela from Yorkshire in the north of England here to talk about crochet. First of all, sorry if I look a bit scruffy, I've been cleaning, just dumped the bathroom and downstairs low and a bit in the hallway, but I'm all hot and bothered, but you know, life's too short to be cleaning, so I'm not doing any more for today. But um, I used to say life was too short for peeling Brussels sprouts, <laughs> um, but uh, it's, it's too short for a lot of things to be honest, but um, especially since I sacrificed to me, myself to the uh, craft that is crochet. Uh, so I, uh, I'd, I, you know, I, but I've done, I've done my bit for today anyway. Now I did get, I'm not saying it's a complaint, but I got a comment about me not being able to hear, hear me properly. Now. I did buy a microphone at the weekend, not 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 one that were very cheap actually, it were a good one, uh, but it wouldn't link up to my phone and that's what I want to record on. Now I have actually, I've listened back to my videos on the TV, on my mobile devices, on my laptop and they all sound fine. Friends who watch me have all said that I'm, I'm loud enough. So like I say, I did say at the beginning, this is me, this is who I am, and I'm not going to change. You know, I'm, it's not a business for me, is this? I appreciate some people want it to be, but I'm I'm not one of those, and I just want to do this for fun. So really, if it's, like I keep saying, I, I've said it before, uh, Mary at Slow Crochet says, if, you, if you're not a cup of tea, that, you know, thanks for watching so far, but, you know, you basically go find someone that you know does it better for you it's not it's not a problem to me I, I i don't want to do this any any differently to what i'm doing and i it, like i say it's um it's just it's just the way i am i you know i'm talking as i would to a, a friend um and I, I can't change just for, this is you know and it's an obby so, you know, I don't approve of, personally of people who want to, you know, like throw all this stuff at it so they can make it into a business. And I don't agree with like people say, for instance, who make it so you have to join the channel, you know, to get extra, extra content. Um, because as we all know, with something like our uh, crafting circle, we don't just follow one person, we follow several. In fact, you know, can be hundreds. And, um, you know, if you were to join up to them all, you'd be bankrupt, you know. I don't approve of that at all. I think our content, our content should be freely available. And to be honest, if it's one thing that turns me off a channel, it's when the, the, the introduce membership and I usually unsubscribe at that stage. Because I just think, you know, you know you, you're ripping off people who are just in this for a, you know, like an hobby, you know. But that is my opinion. That's how I go through this life. I give. I, I, I'm not really a taker. I, I have to. I, I just give me. So I, I, I hope you don't mind me saying all this. But like I say, if I don't suit you, then, you know, please, I'm, you know, I can't change. So, you know, go find somebody who does it the way you like them to do it. And that, that's all I can say. I don't want it to sound harsh, but that's the way it is. So microphone's gone back and I'm not probably going to get another one. Anyway, I um, got uh, my tootifant finished. I had to get another ball, as I told you. So the tootifant is the pattern from Lucy Raven's car, which I got off Exe uh, for £3.60. And you get the pattern for the big and little one. Now, I have found out since I think it's available cheaper on Ravelry. Now... As I said on the other one, not that I'm criticising the pattern because everybody knows that all yarns can be different, you know, um, even within the same brand, a thickness of yarn can be different. But she does actually say that you, you need 80 grams to do the large elephant. Well, I can now say that this took me 116 grams. 116 to do this one like i say that's not the pattern writer's fault that is like the people who produce the yarn and you know like it's a thicker yarn than it should be for the dk really that's the, well that's it as i see it so um but i love the pattern absolutely love the pattern and it will be a keeper and i will do more so i 
having got my second uh, ball I finished the back legs so now she's complete and um, she's 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 Philippa I, I, I think she's she's called Philippa so I think she looks uh, she looks majestic like a African elephant a multicolored African elephant she's got huge ears she's smashing so that's that one. I love that I've done the tail how I normally do, you know, we like doing the chain and then going back up with a with a single a single crochet in the US or a double crochet in England. Um and um UK, sorry. Um that uh so it's a little bit thicker than it would have been, but I, I like it like that. So and it's well secured down. So if I do give it to a baby, it will be okay for them. So that's that one, uh, and of course I use the James C. Brett Fairground DK in uh, the colourway G G two, um, which is this one. Which, like I said, I was waiting for it to tell me what it wanted to be, and it said elephant. I still think it could be a pig, though. So the rest of the ball may may become a pig. Um, now um, I used a three millimeter hook. And just for around the eyes, which I think I said the other day, the, the eyes are in Sardar, Apicotton, DK, and the the black is licorice and the white is shower. So I think that's everything about, about Philippa. So the next thing that I did, I um, got, um, you know, remember a while back I drew out, I've copied uh, Julia at KS Mom Crochets, I copied her idea of drawing out something I want to do, only I've put actual items in and from which book it is, um, whereas Julia is picking the book and then choosing an item which, you know, six or one half does not other really. So the last one I picked was Emmeline Pankhurst. Now this is my version of her. In the book, <clears throat> I'll just show you in the book. In the book, she's got, <clears throat> she's wearing a glow outfit with uh, grey hat and yellow and, uh, sorry, green and peach feathers. So uh, I wanted to do it in the colours of the Women's Social and Political Union. Uh, which of course Emmeline started. So I've done her in purple, green and white. I've done the hat in uh, a grey and the brim I've done in black because I didn't have two shades of grey that were, well, they were different enough to use together. I've done the feathers to match the outfit in the green and the purple. Um, I think she looks, I, I really like it. In fact, she's not just Emmeline Panker. She's, she's, it, this figurine is representing all the women who fought for the vote for us. So she, it, it, the figurine is because of how I've dressed her. She is the, she's the epitome of the suffragette movement. So yeah, love her. So I'll tell you what I used. I've, I used a, a two point seven five millimeter hook. Her eyes are eight millimeter. The only one I'm not going to show you is the cheeks, which I used a scrap of my Stylecraft uh, bamboo and cotton uh, mix. Um, it, just a little bit of pink for the, the cheeks, which are very pale. Uh, but I don't like them to be too pronounced, to be honest. So that's the only one I haven't got uh, in a ball here to show you, but I'll show you the rest. So 2.75mm look and 8mm eyes. So for a body. This is still my favourite colour for skin tone, so this is the one I'm going to stick with. Uh, Sardar Star is double knitting and it's a 50 gram ball and it's a 60% cotton, 40% acrylic mix and the colour I'm using is glamping. So it's, it is it is a cotton acrylic mix but it works fine with using cotton with it and I do think it's a good colour for a white skin tone. Uh, then we've got for the knickers and the shirt is Signet 100% Cotton DK and that's in the colour white. Just a bog standard white that one. Then for the, what did I do next? Oh yes, the... Um, belt and the jacket are in and the one of the feathers is in James C Brett it's 100% pure DK cotton 100 gram ball in the colour emerald 
um, and that is um, I think that's it, isn't it? Does it? Yeah, it's colour emerald, so I rather like that one. I was watching someone yesterday, I can't remember who it was now, that said they didn't like emerald. And you know, it's one of my favourite greens. Isn't it weird? We're, we're all different. Um, and then for the purple, for the skirt and one of the feathers, we've got um, Signet 100% Cotton DK 100 gram ball in the colour Smoky Purple. I've used this on a project before as well. So yeah, that one. Then we've got, what other colours we've got? We've got the hair. So I used the hair. This is the first time I think I've used this cotton. I, I can't remember using them. I got them in, the, there's some colours that have been discontinued and they're still on sale at World Warehouse and various other places. Um, I think that I, I got some of them at um, Black Sheet Wools actually. Anyway, it's Serdar Cotton double knitting and it's 100 grams and the colour is truffle so do you know when I was looking up um, Emmeline Pankhurst they said one of her reports said she had like uh, very dark hair nearly black so but every picture seems to have it coloured in brown but like I say this one's representing all suffragettes anyway so it doesn't matter if it's a true representation of Emmeline uh, but yes yeah, so I, I don't like it but this is a, another example of this is a much thinner cotton than some other DKs you know anyway it was fine it, it, it worked out just fine and then for the hat I used Serdar Happy Cotton this is all I've got left in this colour to be honest, if I'd have had more, I'd have done the entire hat in this colour. It is two-tone on, two on the pattern, but I uh, I was going to do it all, but I didn't have enough. Um, and it, it's a, a DK one, and I think the colour was pebble. So, yeah. Um, so, I think that's the last of that one I've got in that colour. And then for the brim of the hat, I did in uh, the Signet 100% cotton 100 gram ball in just a box standard black. So yeah, that worked out really well. So I think that's everything for uh, the suffragette. Um, yeah, I like her. She's going to stand here with my Jane Austen. Um, I do plan when I've cleaned out the corner cabinet, which needs doing. I think I'm going to put them inside, you know, uh, just to try and keep them a bit more dust free, really. But yeah, so what do you think? So I'll put that down there for now, I'll try and balance it at the moment. Oh, and I did with the pattern, I've done what we were, what we said we should do. Um, the neck I didn't take down to 12 stitches, I just took it down to 18. And then I adjusted when I started working up the head, uh, because obviously we're supposed to increase um, a, a different way to get to, I think it was 24 and I was on 18. So I just adjusted it to get to it as as from from 18 instead of 12 but yeah she's got same number of rows i just adjusted how i increased it um i did find one mistake on the pattern which was just a stitch count apart from that that the super patterns are these so it's from the crochet iconic women book which i'm sure most of you are familiar with which is carla matrani so i've got another couple of these i think in my tin to do um I mean, I would like to do a majority of them, to be honest, uh, eventually. Um, so I think that's that. So I'm going to draw the next one. I've moved it from the Santa tin that Caroline sent me uh, when it was my birthday. And um, I, uh, I've, uh, I've folded them up a bit smaller in the hope that they'll mix up. Because last time, if you remember, I ended up picking the, another iconic women following doing Jane Austen you know so if this is another iconic women it's going to be a fix <laughs> oh oh it's a new one do you remember the uh, book I got the other day a wonderful world of Amigurumi 
Yen the Reindeer. So I'll get the book out, take a picture and I will uh, pop it on the screen. But yeah, Yen the Reindeer. That's the next one I'm going to be doing. I don't know when because I'll just fit it around other projects that I'm doing, you know. So there's that one. Um, I'm going to go on to uh, doing the Mix and Match Challenge uh, for uh, Cassandra Craftably Ever After. Um, she's, they've picked out the rather cute cat, which is uh, a white cat with blue dungarees and a mushroom hat. Although uh, Cassandra has clarified that you can change the colour of the cat, etc. So um, I'm going to be doing that one. And I'm also going to get on with me hooking up with Books Challenge, which is the flat share by Beth O'Leary. Um, so I haven't decided what I'm going to do for that yet, though. Um, another thing that I was going to tell you was um, that... Uh, you know the book that I chose for um, my challenge, uh, by Uck or by Crook? I've heard from one subscriber who says that it's available for free on Kindle Unlimited. And also, I've got my copy on Prime Reading for free. So that's a tip in case any of you've got those things. Also, I was going to tell you, you know the uh, doll I made for me, Old Boss's Daughter? Well... This, I think, is the biggest compliment of all because that doll obviously was supposed to represent her. And she loves it so much, she's named it after herself, so she's calling it Yara Doll. So, yeah, um, so I think that's the biggest compliment when they name a doll after themselves. So, I think that's me done for today. I don't think I've got anything else to tell you. Um, it's a bit early yet, but I'll be going in the bath before tea time probably and get my pyjamas on and then it's match, match night tonight um, with uh, another crunch game we're playing at Preston North End at, at Preston it's at Deepdale and um, but we did manage a win on Saturday so we've just gone above the relegation zone so we have to keep us fingers crossed because at one point in that match we were second from bottom so we get two places by winning on Saturday. So it's, it, you know, it's all precarious, but and there's so many of us on the same number of points, it's scary. Uh, so just going to have to keep fingers crossed and hope that we can stay up, you know. Anyway, I think that's everything I was going to show you. Like I said, don't uh, think I'm being awful, but like I said, this is me, you know. Uh, I am what I am, as Gloria Gaynor wisely said in her song. You know, I used to dance round my handbag in the discos uh, to her songs. And we all know the women's anthem, don't we? I will survive. So, yeah, I. Uh, but yes, I am what I am, and what I am needs no excuses. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be me. So, <laughs> so if, you like, if you like me as I am, all well and good, but if you don't, unfortunately, I can't change. Anyway, that that that's it for the lectures and the rants and blah blah blah. And uh, I'll I'll just say take care of yourselves and I'll see you.